morning everyone it's Mish here and welcome to my channel if you're new here uh, thanks for stopping by and I hope you uh, keep coming back and for those of you um, who are part of the gang um, thanks so much for stopping by leaving your comments um, even if I just say thank you um, it's hard to put emotion into thank you um, but it's more like a thank you than a thanks. So um, I just wanted to say that if if I if it's just that even that word that word means a lot. I was thinking about that this morning when I was um, laying in bed um, about how thanks or thank you. I really feel that's one of the biggest words in the dictionary um, because it just says so much. Um, but uh, but today we're going to be working in our Daphne's Diary Glue Book Journal. Um, and if you are new here, uh, this is just a, a glue book uh, journal that we've been working in, um, I don't know how long now, for quite a, f quite a few months, um, since the spring, I believe. And, oh, I always love her. Um, and I use the magazine just to get inspiration um, for a kind of a glue book thing, uh, pockets and uh, little passport that we did, little tags there, um, some little uh, s sample pockets, um, the beaded butterflies, which I still really love, um, the little time pieces. Um, so we've done quite a bit, a little folio, um, <laughs> the little insect under the magnifying glass. Um, so today, um, I'm still going to be working in issue number seven. So this is one that we worked in uh, last week. And I'm going to use the images um, that I had pulled out um, for last week. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I got in my mind what I would like to do. Um, but what I'm going to, what I'm actually going to do is take these images and I'm gonna fussy cut some of those out. Um, so those, these are the images that I'm gonna make use of uh, today. Um, and I believe I'll use, uh, this was one of the background papers um, from last week. And I think that's the only one that's left because we did use one. And I don't wanna use the birds because I, Thinking that might use the, those guys for a different project. So, so yeah. So I'm gonna go away. Gonna do some cutting. Gonna organize some stuff, and then I'll be back. Okay, everyone. Well, I've gone away. A couple hours have gone. A few hours have gone by now. I went out to lunch with one of my good friends, um, and now I'm back, and I think I'm ready to uh, continue on. So I did, as I said, I fussy cut out um, all those little images um, and used some of this scrap paper. Um, and that all, everything came from that issue uh, number seven. So I'm just gonna set that aside. So I did take out a page already um, and we're gonna work on the back. Um, and I couldn't find any um, papers that I liked actually from the magazine. So I've just gone to my cardstock uh, paper pads and I've put down uh, the background and I did do some stitching. I wasn't trying to be um, completely even. Um, so I've done the background and I've done a little pocket and I've put some little pocket extenders uh, on the sides. So we're gonna get this down. And then what I thought today I wanted to do is I've been thinking about or I have been journaling and I always like to have journal cards available um, in in my journals so I thought it would be a great way to make use of those little images was to try to do um, some little journal cards um, and uh, have a little pocket that we can uh, put them in so get that down and I've put a little bit of extenders on them because if um, I'm thinking that I might 
um, have the journal cards be a little bit dimensional and po possibly prop up the images um, with some foam tape or something. So I just wanted to make sure that I had room in that pocket um, so that there'd be room to expand. I only made a small little expander. Um, I wasn't trying to have a really deep, uh, thick uh, pocket. So I think that it was about three eighths of little pieces of paper that I then fold it in half and I've glued on as a little extender. Okay, so I think that's good. So we'll, we'll set that aside uh, for now. Uh, so then I took three other pieces of paper and I've cut them to be, I think it was four and three quarter uh, by six by six. Okay, and I rounded uh, the corners and then I went to the sewing machine and I just uh, st stitched on a few tabs and I thought we could um, work with work with these. And I have a little stencil that are just some little fall leaves. And I wanted to kind of keep with the fall theme. Um, it's uh, tomorrow will be November the eight, the uh, seventeenth, um, Friday the seventeenth. And next week is the American Thanksgiving. We already had ours in Canada uh, in October. Um, so I didn't want to kind of jump ahead to Christmas, even though I'm doing a lot of Christmas projects right now. And it's so hard on my head mentally to go from Christmas albums to back to the fall and Thanksgiving. Um, but, but I thought, yeah, so we'll just stick with some of the, um, the fall themes. So I just want to do, uh, in the background, just do a little bit of leaves. I, I do want it to be subtle, um, so I'm hoping, yeah, that's good. Um, so this one here is just antique linen, just some of the dis distress inks. I'm not trying to be uh, perfect at all. And I just want it to kind of show up a little bit. That light doesn't look very good. I'll move my light over. Um, so just to have a little bit of some subtleness in the background. Let's see. All right, and then, so that's antique linen on that one. Uh, then for the yellowy colored one, I thought I'd do some fo fossilized amber. Just go gently. Just go gently, get some leaves. It's a beautiful day here today. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's at least, it's probably 12 degrees out today, which is pretty good. I um, I was confused this morning. Uh, it's garbage day here, and I couldn't remember if it was, we do recycling and compost one, one week, and then the next week we do uh, garbage garbage except for in the summertime. In the summertime, we com we put compost out uh, every week just um, for the bears and stuff, um, just so it's not kind of stinking and what, ha what have you. Uh, but once the weather turns, then it goes to compost and re recycling. Oops, I just dropped my dauber. Uh, every other week and, um, and garbage. So I looked down the street, kind of like Harry Potter, uh, to try to figure out what the neighbors were doing. And I was still confused, but I managed to get my, it's garbage day, so I managed to get the garbage out. And But when I went out, I was surprised. I was expecting to get a little blast of coldness and it was quite mild. So when I went out for lunch, a friend of mine went over to Montana's uh, to get a sort of late breakfast, er, early lunch. I absolutely love, they have a uh, lobster smash, smashers, I guess it's called. It's potato, it's like a potato base with a, um, with lobster. 
and it is so delicious. So I got that, and then I got a little bit of cornbread. My mother always made cornbread this time of year as a dessert. So we'd she'd bake up some cornbread, and we'd we'd have it with with cream. Okay, so I think I'm okay with that. We could, you know, you could continue on to you you were happy with it, but I, I think I'm good with that. Um, so that's our um, background. So then the images, I kind of wanted to go with um, a sweater theme. There was three sweaters in, the, in those cutouts, and uh, I just kind of thought this time of year, as you can tell maybe that I've got my nice sweater on, um, I just love the sweater weather. And so I thought it would be good we could do some little collages using using our pumpkins and then I cut out a few leaves that are turning there so we can put I didn't have enough pumpkin so I'm gonna have to go with a big old ginormous mushroom and then I'm not sure if I'm gonna this is I'm just getting the the um, big old acorn I love acorns. And I want to decorate the front of our pocket here with some other images uh, that I picked up. So we'll, we'll get to that in a second. And then I had a few more cutouts here that we can play with um, just to do a little, put a little extra le leaves in if, if we need it. So I want it the sweater to be on the color that would maybe pop the most and I kind of like that I, I it does go with that well actually that looks pretty good too I, I get a bit of glare off the light there so sometimes it's hard for me to see I kind of do like those combinations because that orange and that I think think would just go too much together so I think I'm kind of happy with that and then we'll get that there a little chestnut there I used to love going out and getting the chestnuts and cracking them open and <laughs> using them as missiles okay so I think something like like that so let's start with this one so I still need to Kind of trim up the side of that there. And I think I will, should have done this beforehand, but I, I think I will with this one at least, excuse me for reaching, is take my pit pen and just, I like to go along the edge so that that white, um, where you've cut that white edge kind of blends in. The other thing I don't know if I mentioned, I went to the mail the other day, actually two things. One is I went to the mail quite a while ago now, so probably like three weeks ago. And what did I get in the mail but jury selection papers? So in all my life, I have never been selected for jury duty. As a nurse, I don't know if I'm exempt or not, I do feel it's my civic duty to, to, um, you know, to participate. But, so that was something I've been thinking about the last few weeks. I had to get the papers back in. Um, I mailed them on Monday, along with um, the giveaway prize to Maya. So Maya, you're, um, your package is on the way to the Netherlands. Left on, on uh, actually Tuesday, Monday was a holiday. So I'm not really sure how long it's gonna take to get to the Netherlands. I hope you enjoy it. There were some other little goodies that I threw in there. And, uh, so that was uh, so that was something I've been thinking about. Is selection is December first, unless I do get exempt. So I had to put who my employer was and any any other de uh, details. You have to write them a letter. So 
I uh, I did that. I don't know if I'll be selected, even if I if I do do get over there. So, and I'm not sure what's going on either, because of course you never know these things. So that's one thing. So then the other thing, and I have to show it, is I went to the mail the other day and Barbie from Nellie and Ruth Designs has been doing a cowboy journal over on her channel, which I absolutely adored. Um, and she had a giveaway that she gave away to a few people. Um, and I'm just quickly gonna go through it. Um, of a journal that she had put together. And I mean, look at the little lace and the little clips and the little, those girls are just so sweet, some fabrics. Um, so uh, thank you, Barbie, so much for thinking about me. Um, if you've been wa watching my channel, you know that my mother passed away um, a number of years ago now, but November's hard because her birthday is November the 13th and she died on the 24th. Um, and ironically, I got this on November the 14th, but if I had a gone out on her birthday, which I didn't leave the house, um, I would have got it on the 13th. So I think that's kind of significant. But if you want to see more of her journal, then hop on over to her ch channel at Nellie and Ruth uh, uh, Designs and uh, ha have a look. Um, so that was something I've been very, very happy with uh, this week. Um, Okay, so I think we'll get the pumpkin down first. I'm just gonna use my Elmer's glue, except I think I took it out in the living room last night as I was doing some little Christmas clusters. So we'll just have to use the, uh, the Fabri-Tac, which is fine. Um, I tend to use the Elmer's glue just because it's a, it's a PVA glue and if I don't use too much, then um, it's, it's fine. Um, and for paper on pa paper, that's really all that you need. Um, for the little sweater, I'm also thinking that I might like to put maybe a little twine behind there. Although I don't want to add too much dimension because if I'm going to be writing on the back, um, yeah, no, I think I'm, I'm okay with that. But I will put some a little bit of foam tape on the back of that. So Black Friday sales have started already. We never used to get those in Canada until, oh, I don't know how, how many years ago they started, but, um, but now it used to be on the day, and then it was a couple of days before, and now it's the week before. Um, I don't really find that I'm one to go out not at this stage of my life. And, oops, I want to angle that a little bit differently. The thing with the Fabri-Tac is it tends to be a quicker. I wanted that to kind of go off a little bit. Well, actually, I'm not quite sure how I want that. I want it all, yeah, I want it to be a little bit like that. I'm not one that this stage in my life to go out and um, stand in line for, for things. I just, I have, a, I need a hip surgery at some point and I need a knee replacement. And uh, it's just hard to stand for any length of time. Okay, and then maybe put the little chestnut there. Get our leaves in there. The other thing I did cut out is a, um, sorry, I just, I want to move that back in there a little bit more. I want to get that leaf kind of nestled in there like that, like so, uh, is I cut out some sayings about things to think about when I'm journaling. So one thing is forget about it. So it's those things that I tend to think about 
when I just get frustrated because it's upsetting me or something. And I just want to remember to just forget about it. Like, get on with it. I think sometimes we're our hardest critics. But I find that there's times you just need to say, okay, you've thought about it. Can you change it? No. If you can't change it, then you have to accept it and just stop thinking about it. I've always been kind of strong-willed, I guess you'd say. So I find, though, sometimes if I tell myself to stop it, then myself, sometimes in spite, decides that it's not going to stop it. So oftentimes I then have to do the other approach in that just tell myself, yeah, go ahead, think about it, get yourself all upset, it's your choice. And sometimes that works a little bit better for me. I think I'm good with not putting that leaf on there. I may eventually decide that. That brown sweater is just so gorgeous. I remember one year I knit myself a brown sweater similar to that, I think. And, but I put uh, suede patches on the elbows. Well, I thought I was the coolest thing in town because <laughs> I'd seen this movie. Um, I was always into books and I seen this movie about this guy who had this awesome library and he had this sweater with the patches on the elbows. And uh, so I thought that cool people who owned a lot of books had sweaters with patches on their elbows. So I, uh, <laughs> so I, I knit one. Uh, I'm not sure about that, that leaf. So I'm just going to set this one aside for right now. And I can also put some foam tape under there. But I'm kind of liking how that's turned out. And then on the back side, there's lot, lots of room to, to do some journaling or add something there. Um, so we'll move that over. And then let's look about, let's look at these two. Um, so this one here is Have a Great Day. I think I'll put that there because there's less going on here. And then this little one, Hello. Hello, Moto. And this is just a little, hey, hello, what's going on? How you doing? What you been up to? Let's write about it. Sometimes the act of writing something down, it seems sometimes it's a cliche because you hear it all the time. Oh, you know, write, write your feelings down. Um, but I really do feel that it, it helps. I've even... At, one point in my life I uh, had read this thing I don't know maybe in a magazine or something about writing yourself a letter and sending it so I thought oh I'm gonna do that I'm gonna write myself a letter and send it off in the mail <laughs> and when I got the letter I was like what's this uh, and then I realized oh that's the letter you sent yourself because I think it took like a while to get to me by the time it got to me, I'd forgotten all about it. The post in Canada, even if you're mailing it to yourself, it's sometimes longer to, to, to get around the corner than it is to get across the country. Okay, so I'm thinking... I'm not sure, because that kind of... When it's stuck out like that, it kind of looks like an, an umbrella, which I'm not really... I don't really want the umbrella effect on that. It's because it's so much bigger than that one, I think. But I was kind of trying to avoid, probably should have put the orange, orange with that one. However, I think I did have another mushroom somewhere. Let's see. What if we try a different, okay, that, that looks a little better. And then, and the other, what, what's good too is it's kind of on the opposite side, so it's not all the samey. All right, yeah, I like that. So we'll get that down. I often just stick down the middle of things until I'm ready uh, to finish with the collage, just so that I have 
the ability to tuck things. Oh yeah, that, that's good. And then I can put the leaf, actually, I think I might go back to that little leaf. And then the hello, I can put down there, like so. We can put our little hello in the in the bottom, kind of there. The thing about doing kind of collage work and stuff is getting your getting your layout to look kind of like not lopsided or everything off to one side or all the colors in one in one area. So this one here again I think I'm going to prop up the sweater just to give it a little bit of dimension and I'll like I'll like looking at it when it's propped up. Okay. I'm really thankful for those of you who have been enjoying my channel. I uh, I read all the co comments. I might not be able to reply straight away that day, especially if I'm working. Um, but I do try to get to it as, as soon as I can. Okay, so we'll get our little hello. And there's more things you could do to this. You could add some sparkle and washi tape, but sometimes you don't want to throw the kitchen sink at everything. Kind of like, I kind of like that one. It just seems like it's getting darker and darker in here. Is it just me? Oh, no, that leaf just, these, I had the leaves kind of on there as a, just as a, let, let's see what it looks like. And I could find a nice little place for them, but I can't seem to find one there. Okay, so let's get those there. And then let's try to have this one more in the middle. We'll cut that off. Have a great day. So hello, how are things going? Forget about it. And have a great day. And maybe we'll So this pumpkin is on that side, so I might try to put this pumpkin over here and maybe ang angle that a little bit. Everything doesn't have to be straight on. I think I kind of like that. And then we can have the little acorn down there. And then we have a bigger leaf here. Put the leaf in behind there, like so. I think I need something there. I think I have another chestnut. Maybe I could do a little, like instead of just one leaf, which might look odd, I could do like a little leaf cluster. Or I have, um, there's a couple more chestnuts. I could find the, where my cutouts are. Just think it needs a little something there, but may, maybe not. Or maybe this one just looks a, lot, a little bit busier than, than these two. But I do like how that's looking. So let's get our leaf, leaf down first. As it's the layer that's closest to the bottom. Tuck that in there. And it doesn't matter, we can put the the words over top, that's fine. Or we could even put, if we could take that off, and we can put that down there. But I don't want to angle it the same angle as this sweater. 
not that it matters that much, but. Yeah, I kind of I like how that looks. So let's get it down. And then once we get this down, then we can decorate the front of the pocket. Because I've, um, you know, it's, my mother's been on my mind and Christmas has been on my mind. I've started thinking about the book, a book called uh, The Gift. And I'm sure you guys, a lot of you guys know the book I'm talking about. Uh, it was written by, uh, I don't know his whole name. I think it's Richard something Evans, I think. Um, and it's a story that came out in the 90s about this guy who owns a ski shop and he has a little girl and they end up going to live with this older lady um, who lives on a, in a posh area of town. Um, the lady's sick, although they don't know it at the time. And the little family goes to live with the lady and, and the, the man, father, he's more interested in his business and, and what have you. Um, and then at, at the end, they find out that she's, she's dying and it's about the true meaning of Christmas, which is the, the gift of a child. Um, so yeah, I kind of like that there. In the when the book came out, which was in the 90s, maybe 95, I'm not sure. Uh, my brother gave it to me for Christmas, and I remember opening it up on Christmas Eve, and um, I read all night long. I don't think I went to sleep at all, and I read the book, the whole book. And I had been thinking about this book because when I, I've moved quite a bit and downsized and what have you. And I think the book, I think I ended up somehow donating it to the li the local library and I've gone back to try to find it, but it's, I, it's not there. So maybe I didn't, but, um, I wouldn't have thrown it out and I wouldn't have, I don't, at that time we didn't really have charity shops. So I know I took it to the library. Anyways, it's been on my mind, this book. And this morning, when I came in here to do my crafting, um, I was watching Barbie has a crossword. Okay, so we cut out there, but um, so I was saying, uh, so this morning when I came into the craft room to kind of get things thought about for, the, for today's video, I had Barbie um, on doing her crossword uh puzzle collage and when that video was finished it then just went into um you know as it does it just skips to, to another video and a movie came on and I was sitting here listening and I couldn't believe it was the gift uh so how amazing was that um it just goes to show that you know, there definitely is a, a, I think there is a connectedness of us all. And, um, which I think sometimes explains why, uh, you meet somebody for the first time and yet you feel like either you've known them forever or there's just like this instant connection. And I don't necessarily mean, um, you know, like a romantic connection, although sometimes, you know, the love, the love at first sight thing, but friend, friendship at first sight for sure. Um, okay, so I've got a little um, little border there, and I, as I've been talking, I've been sitting here trying to think: Do I want do I want to cut that out? Do I want to leave it as a panel um, like that? Do I, I love this little teapot of flowers? It reminds me of one of the the videos that we we did a while ago of the 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 uh, teapot with the flowers and the paintbrushes and, and supplies and stuff. So I kind of like, I kind of like it, but I'm, I'm kind of thinking it, it might not suit. It might be just, just too busy or what I, the other thing I could do is I could, 
just cut it down a little bit, cut, cut some of these extraneous bits of branches and make it um, a little bit smaller. When I went out a little while ago to go to lunch, I got in the car and my radio station that I like, which is a e easy listening, has now turned into uh, 24 hours of Christmas hits. And I just, love, I absolutely love it. But I know there's people that think, are you kidding me? But I was bopping along um, to Corey Hart, one of Corey Hart's Christmas songs. I remember in the 80s going to one of his concerts. Oh, Corey Hart. <laughs> I wear my sunglasses at night. I kind of do think I like that. Off to the side. Now, now that I've trimmed it down a little bit. Because it doesn't have to be like completely even. Life isn't always even. Yeah, I, I kind of think I like that. And I could prop that up. I could have that under there or I could, oh, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put this straight down and then I think I'll put a dimensional under the flowers just to lift it up a little bit. Give it a little dimension, um, allow a little bit of a shadow. So if that's gonna go about there, then I want that about there, I guess. Okay, so we're coming to an end, I think. Every time that I do a video and then I get off, I find something that I was going to add that I didn't. And I think, oh, I was going to put that on there. So I'm just looking around my desk, but I don't see anything. My, uh, my next video that should come out... If I can get it done, it's not done yet. It's my Marguerite Miller collage challenge. I try to get it out on Sundays. This is week uh, 47, I think. Wow, how the time has, has gone by for sure. Uh, okay, well, I kind of like that. And then we just take our little journal cards and we put them in our little pocket. I put the little tabs on so that we can kind of stack them a little bit. And thank you for joining me today. As I always say, if you like the video, please give me a like. And I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I really love having you guys join me. Just need to find where this went. Just right here. The book is getting thick for sure. My plan for this is to just to keep on going for as long as I can get the magazine and as long as you guys are interested in watching. Um, okay, so. It's getting kind of fat, but we're going along. Dum de dum dum dum, and there it is. And then, oh, and I tried to get kind of the fall pages. That that's the one that we did uh, last week, our our Mr. Fox one, and this is the one that we did today. Uh, so I hope you have a great weekend, um, and until next time. I hope you stay safe um, and well, and uh, bye for now.